Hello artists! The purpose of this video is to model for you using an image from Google instead of the Sketchpad clip art. So here I am in Sketchpad. I have my custom size 10 by 10. I'm going to click on blank and create. Zoom out so you can see. So now when you go to the clip art, you have the option to load your own image. This means that you can take an image from Google and use it in Sketchpad. I'm going to go to my desktop and my Faith Ringgold folder, and I'm going to select the image. So now I can add color to this image to tell my story. Now I want to add my border first, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw my rectangle border. I'm going to copy and paste so that it is even on all sides. And I'm just going to delete the extra ones. Now I'm going to add a little bit of a extra border here. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to use the blue this time. And I'm going to change that one to blue as well thicken up that border. Now I'm going to change this one Oops. power of undo just hit command Z or that undo button. Change the style So now I want to work on my image. I'm going to go to pixel fill. The reason I want to do pixel fill is because it just fills in an area. I'm going to zoom in so that I can really see what I'm working with. And you want to be mindful of some of the areas. For example, here is not connected. So I want to go and use my pencil tool, turn that width down just a little bit, and I'm going to fill this area in here. So now when I pixel fill, it'll only fill in this area. See, it closes this. I'm going to do the same thing up here for the hair and right here. I'm going to connect her arm here. And I'm going to do the same for his hair. Now I'm going to pixel fill in some of the picture. So I'm going to do a nice soft purple for the shirt. And I'm going to do my son's favorite color, green, for his shirt going to do a brown for my hair and a brown for his hair as well. Now if I fill in this area, see how his whole face, I don't want to do his whole face, so I want to go back, go back to the pencil and I'm going to close that area here, go back to pixel fill and see how now it just filled in that area. I can fill in our skin tone. Let's fill in our arms. Let's 
and I'm gonna fill in my pants. And that's okay if it did this bottom part here, you can go back and edit that. And I'm gonna do the book a nice blue. Fill in this area here and this here. So now you'll notice there's this patch on my arm. I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to click the fill. I'm going to turn the outline off. When I click the fill, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool. That makes sure that it matches the color of the arm. So when I color this in, it matches the color exactly. I'm going to even use the, the paintbrush tool. So it'll give it a little easy. Now I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to go to my layers. And I'm going to scroll down and take off the clip art. So see how now it just leaves behind the area that I filled in. Now, as I said, you don't have to worry about down here because you can change that. I can use my paintbrush tool and change the color. Maybe I want to make it a dark green and I can draw on top. Now you'll notice that it has some black on it. I can do the outline the same color, turn down my width, use my eyedropper tool. So now it's the same color and now I can go back and fill in. Now I don't have to worry about this being in front because I can move some of my images. So I can I can send this forward, send to front. So see how now it's in front, send to front center front. So now this whole area and I can send this to the front. Oops. Just a little bit. Now I can fill in my background here. So maybe I want it to be a dark blue. And then I can add a stamp. So I'm going to go to my paintbrush. I'm going to go to stamp. And I can change it to any one that I want. I'm going to use, maybe I'll do a star. So I can type in star. And I don't want an outline, so I'm going to turn the outline off. So now my image is my son and I reading outside under the stars. 